Hello guys, and welcome to a generic text-to-speech FL Studio tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an epic rock synthwave track only using free plugins. Let's begin. First set your BPM to the desired speed. Keep it around 128 and 140 beats per minute because that's what Google said it should be. I went with 140 beats per minute because I was too lazy to change the default BPM. Let's start with the drums. I didn't get complicated with the drum at all. For the kick, I set it to hit on every beat. It sounds like this. For effects, all I added was some sound goodizer to give it a little more power. For the snare, I set it to hit on every second and fourth beat, with a little variation at the end of the fourth and eighth bars. It sounds like this. For the effects, I added some compression. Pulling down the threshold to negative 7.9 dB, boosting the ratio to 3.1 to 1 and boosting the gain by 2.7 dB. Next, I added some reverb. I boosted the high and low cut as well as size and decay. I also pulled the wet up to about 50% and the ER to about 75%. Finally, I added some EQ. First, I cut the lows. Then I boosted the highs a little, and the area where the meat of the snare was. Here is what it sounds like with and without the effects added. Finally, I added some simple hi-hats. I didn't add any effects to them. Here is what they sound like. All of these drum samples came from the Saintingham Synthwave sample pack. I will leave a link to it in the description. Now that we are finished with the drums, let's move on to the chords. For the chords, you are going to want to find some retro sounding samples. Luckily, most free plugins will have a bunch of good presets to choose from if you look for a bit. For the main sound, I went with Solyena preset from the Direct Wave plugin. It has a nice and full sound to it. Here is what it sounds like with the main chord progression. For the effects, I added some compression. Pulled the threshold down to negative 18 dB boosted the ratio to 3.2 to 1, and boosted the gain up 6.4 dB, as well as changed the type to vintage. I gave it some reverb. Then I added an EQ. I cut the lows and boost the highs and mids. Here is what it sounds like, with and without the effects. I added some more layers to the chords to fill out some of the space. For the first layer, I made a simple sine wave pad using 3xOSC. And for the second layer, I went with a detuned bass from Direct Wave. Here is what the bass sounds like. For the bass's effects, I added an EQ to cut the highs. I also added a fruity chorus and chose the light HF preset. 
and then I turned the effects wet dry knob down to about 25%. And finally, I added some reverb. Here is what it sounds like with and without the effects. And finally, here is what the main chords sound like all together. For the last piece of the chords, I added this bass from mini synth to give the low end some rhythm. Here is what it sounds like. Now let's move on to melodies. I didn't do much for the synthwave side of things in terms of melodies. All I added was a bell preset to give the intro some ambience and an arp to also give it some energy in the beginning. Here is what each of them sounds like. For effects, I didn't add anything to the bell and only added an EQ and stereo shaper to the ARP. Now it's time for the best part. The rock elements. For the rock elements, you are going to need a good guitar sound. Finding good sounds can be hard and expensive. The one I found is a free sample for the Direct Wave plugin. To find the presets just go to your packs folder, then click Legacy, then Instruments, then Guitars. For this tutorial, I used Electric Guitar 2 for both of the guitars. For the first guitar sound, I copied and pasted the main chords into it. Here is what it sounds like. For the effects, I added an EQ to cut the highs a bit and boosted the low mids. I also added some compression. I went with the vintage preset. And finally, I added some reverb. Here is what it sounds like with and without the effects. For the second guitar, I used the same guitar sample but put it through a different effect chain. Here are the effects. For the first effect I added a flanger. I also pulled the wet knob in the mixer down to 25%. Next I added a chorus and chose the fat clean preset and pulled the wet knob in the mixer down to 40%. Next I added some compression and chose the master 1 preset. Then I added some delay. I turned the wet knob down to 40% in the mixer for this as well. Next I added some reverb. And finally, I added two EQs to try and help clean up the sound. The melody I used is just the ARP from earlier copied and pasted over. Here is what it sounds like with and without the effects. And for the final and most important piece. The epic guitar solo. For this you are going to want to channel your inner rock god. Imagine yourself shredding a guitar live in front of millions of people cheering your name. Then realize you are sitting in front of a computer watching a tutorial on how to make synthwave. I'm not going to show the guitar solo on its own because it sounds better together with the rest of the track. Now all you have left to do is arrange and add sound effects. 
and voila. It is done. Here is the track when it's all finished. That is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed please like and subscribe. If you want to see a different tutorial leave a comment in the description and I might do another.